All right, so for those of you who didn't know, this is where the CAN bus gateway lies in for the Mark 5, for the right-hand drive uh, Mark 5, that is. So let's step away. That's the, that's the vehicle's left side, and that's the right side. So this is where the gateway itself lies, and I'm going to remove this and put a Mark 6 one in there just for the fun and then just for bragging rights yeah so gotta get back to work all right so as part of the removal i saw something strange which i have how do you say wouldn't expect to see on a normal basis in the point in the day i'm seeing coins jamaican currency how in the world it got there I'm not even going to pause it because I don't think we have oh shoot yeah I can't think of how in the world any of that um, could have gotten there but it's that moment where I have been driving around and I'm hearing some very unusual rattles and uh, currency coins all of this I, I certainly don't keep coins here, most likely the previous owner, but let me get a magnet and fish these out. Alright, so here I have both control modules on the left. Let me do sorry, let me flip this over. On the left you have the Mark 6. And bus, I mean, sorry, on the left you have the Mark V, the 1KO, blah, 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 blah. And on the right you have the that of the Mark VI. <clears throat> However, interestingly enough, they are literally, almost literally this exact same hardware, perhaps different yeah, the exact same hardware, different software loaded on them. All right, so. So as you can see, to, um, 2007, that says 2012. And the reason for me to do, do, be, for me doing all of this is just, apart from bragging rights and the fact that I have nothing to do on a weekend, it is... <clears throat> Yeah, I really want to put, really plan on retrofitting a Mark VI um, instrument cluster. This is perhaps not necessarily a requirement, but what this is going to be a requirement for is the steering wheel. So I have a DSG with a multi-function button steering wheel. So if I retrofit this, I'll be able to get this um, working when I retro when I at a later date put on the Mark VI steering wheel on my Mark V. So this is really more of a bragging rights thing to say I've done it. But the two units on the outside are identical. So of course the dirty one is always my current Mark V one. Doing this with both hands, but yep, exact same model, module rather. Different software. So what I'll do is I'll code the new one with the configuration that I had basically written down, backed up, screenshotted from this one. Never ever copy and paste coding from one module to the next with different software configurations because just never so for those of happen. you who have been plagued with the infamous sunroof leaking into the vehicle when it rains this has been my problem so okay well, shoot I just cried. oh no sorry I thought I scuffed up my watch here but yeah, I should not be wearing it anyway. Using this type of work. 
so what you have here is this nipple which is a natural outlet to the rainwater how it works so you have four drains um one one two three and four and then what happens is that when it's actually when it as it yeah so as it rains the drain actually goes down the a pillow and then comes comes out down here <clears throat> If for any reason this is blocked up, then the leak happens. It, it then water then backs up and then it leaks down into your vehicle somewhere in the a pillow. Hence the reason why your foot wrist will be wet. This is how it looks on the other side of the vehicle. Because I had used I'd moved this one earlier and a whole lot of water just gushed right out so now I know why the car feels or smells damp from time to time but I think if I have to look at this again I will cut those two, two nipples off so that it doesn't trap any dirt and other sediment